What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the VO2 Max channel. Coming at you with a special video today. We were talking about Anvil Rift Breakers. This is it. I won't talk over this. They came across mysterious black chests called vaults, which contain mesmerizing energy and technology that were unknown to mankind. Acquiring vaults wasn't easy. A deadly war began. The bodies piled up fighting mechanical life forms that reigned over the planets. But humanity's will for prosperity found a way to fight off these overwhelming foes. The holy first realm ever discovered contained the ability of limitless replication. Thus, remote expedition base Anvil was built. Humanity used mind transfer system called Amber to control the breakers that grow stronger each time they fall and are rebuilt. Now, there is no fear of death. Death only makes you stronger. Destroy all enemies and find new vaults. That is your mission. Anvil Vault Breakers. So, uh, yeah, this is pre released. So, I didn't buy the full version, I'm just playing the uh, Game Pass version. <clears throat> so, as you can see, what just popped up there, it's a jungler number two. We'll go over things really quickly here to uh, to show you what's going on. So these are called our breakers. We've got all different kinds here. Getting a little bit, a little bit laggy. Got all different kinds. So you've got basically kind of four riflemen looking dudes, kind of medium, medium HP, medium power. I think you've got four big chunky dudes that probably have tons of HP. I'm not entirely sure, and like huge power, but probably, I don't know, it, there's probably a down, well they're probably slow, there's a downside for sure to them, uh, I'm sure it talks about them in their descriptions, and then you've got four, four of the lady versions, um, and they're, I think they're kind of fast, like super, super glass cannon type, uh, type characters, I don't know, I've only played one, I've only played one, uh, whatever loop thing that whatever this is called oh you know what you can't see all of the uh all the breakers ah well you know what yeah let's do this sorry i got uh there we go i can move this down here for now there we go move that down there for now then you can see all the all the breakers i know the music stops when you're when you're in here it's, it's kind of annoying Actually, I wish the devs would change that. Or if you're not in the window, the music would actually continue playing. Because it makes doing these recordings sound a little bit weird. And the music just turns off and then it turns back on again when I go back to the window. Uh, so yeah, basically I've only ever done the jungler. So we're going to uh, use him. So they're all just kind of different archetypes. I'm really interested in picking up a liner. So as soon as I have a thousand of these credits, whatever they're called here whatever crones I think is what it is yeah crones or crons uh, as soon as I get a thousand I'm gonna pick him up because he's got a sweet missile rifle and my last my last uh, mission there I ended up finding a missile rifle and it was awesome it was so much fun to shoot <laughs> I'm a huge fan uh, so here you can get uh, you can unlock your relics these are like your uh, your roguelike things that you pick up along the way you'll end up getting like you know 10 15 20 30 of these things whatever it is and then at the end of every run when you when you invariably die or complete it you have a chance to bring a relic or multiple i don't know uh back with you and then from there you can actually equip them before you go out on your missions so you can kind of build a a little a base of a, a build right away this shows you all your weapons this is the the missile rifle here rifle that fires missiles that do explosive damage fires slowly but periodically launches extra missiles exploding missiles will burn enemies so much fun uh, and then you've got all your skills and each 
each breaker has basically a variation on the four main skills. They all have some type of mine or a grenade, some type of placeable thing, um, something like that. Uh, so you've got the mines here for the jungler. We've got a bullet slash, which is like he uses uses uh, his the, his rifle to slash enemies or whatever in an, in an arc and it knocks things back. And these are just showing all the, the different upgrades each one can have. And they all do kind of similar things, right? You've got reduce cooldown by 30%, reduce cooldown by 30%, reduce cooldown by 30%, reduce cooldown by 30%. You can see a, a pattern here, but each skill for each and or for each breaker is a little bit different. So this guy has um, crossfire. It's like an orbital bombardment kind of thing, just clears the screen. Uh, the mines, like I said, the, the bullet slash sweep thing, and then a dash for his movement ability. Uh, that's, yeah, so they all have, they all have some type of, uh, some type of bonus on their, on their dashes. So this guy's is move quickly to avoid enemy attacks, recharges fast, and fills up to three uses, which you can increase. Uh, successfully dodging an enemy attack using this skill will increase movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. And the upgrades are instantly refill magazine and increase attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds, reduce cooldown by 30%, on perfect dodge gain 200% increased firepower for 15 seconds, recover more HP, one more use. You can get some pretty crazy, pretty crazy things going on. But yeah, so that's the skill upgrades, the weapons, the relics. Um, and then you've got your kind of companions over here. They're expensive to unlock. I'll let you uh, pause the video on each of the descriptions if you would like to do that. I'll just go through them real quick. I, I won't be able to uh, to buy any of them right away. And then you've got kind of a like a skill tree looking thing for when you start. Um, I don't know how many points you get, but you use this currency that's up in the top right hand corner uh, It'll be that corner up over there You can see that's got 600 crones the little blue cubes And then there's another kind of coin looking jammy and that's what you use to to upgrade your uh, This this little thing here this little skill tree I would like to see this kind of expanded out a little bit this game's in early access I would like to see this expanded out to have and be a little bit less restrictive, potentially, depending on how many points you get. Because in order to get damage control one, you need to put in five points to the health. I'd like to see it where it was like two or maybe three, or even just to unlock it. Like any of those three combinations, I think five might be a bit steep, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how it's all gonna work. So I'd just, I, I'd like to see a few more things where like, oh, on, you know, instead of just critical damage increase or crit chance increase, give me also something that says, um, you know, when dealing critical damage damage to an enemy, you gain 1% health back or something like that, you know, put it, put it over in something, you know, I like this one where generate shield equivalent to 10% of HP, max HP for 15 seconds, every 30 seconds. So you've got lots of shielding going on you got lots of regen but in order to get to that shield you got to do recovery level five so you need five there six here 11 15 16 points you need to have 16 points in order to get one point into that and it costs you five of those coins so but yeah i'd like to see a couple more branches maybe like uh like three three more skills in each one of these trees kind of thing but um but yeah anyways i, I won't go through all the skills but you can kind of you can kind of make inferences based on what the the wording is um operate oh this is this is what i was looking for earlier i was trying to see what this is so this is we we get kind of a season type thing here so i'm not entirely sure how that's all going to work um but you get uh, you get rewards, kind of like a season pass type thing. What's the what's the highest? Where's our highest here? 
So you get uh, cosmetics, you get more of these crones, crons, whatever they are, and you get those coins. Well, it seems like you get a lot of coins. Max rank. Season point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty-two, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, 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 fif
all your all your things you've unlocked all your movement speed your weapon power your everything um all your relics that you pick up so currently so i had from last time i picked up a level one risk coin and i don't know how you level them up now i need to make that very clear um which gives us 15 percent increase to hp defense and attack power when 120 or less coins are in our possession so that's cool because it's going to force us to spend money um about the only time i won't do that is on the last the last run or the last biome of the uh the last little section of the biome because uh in a this game gifts you uh i shouldn't say gifts you but it gets you uh a nice shop when you go to the next area and it's good to have some money because you can have you, you can buy weapons you can buy um i'm gonna pick this one up i think uh, I might pick up the speed dash actually. I picked this up last time, but yeah, sorry the shop You can buy three different weapons. You can buy a heal You can buy two different relics that are that are there and you could potentially get some pretty good stuff there I think there's a higher chance of being higher rarity each weapon type has rarities. There's blue purple and then yellow tier one two and three uh, progressively higher damage progressively higher um prefixes or suffixes or whatever or like abilities that the guns can have i think the yellow ones can have three the purples can have two and i think the blues can have one and they don't always have one but i think they can have one uh but you can get some pretty some pretty nutso stuff that missile rifle i had last time was a tier three it was giving me um extra i think it was extra uh defense penetration for the enemies I was gaining 1% HP every 5 seconds, and then it, there was one other thing too, I can't remember what it is. Uh, we'll pick up the dash. One of the other mechanics in this game is, as you can see in the top right corner, oh look at this, we got a, a rifle here. Yeah, we're going to pick that one up, because it's just plain, plain better. Um, so one of the other mechanics is every so often you can see that bar is slowly filling up it's a little blue bar it's slowly filling up in the top right hand when that goes to the top when that flicks all the way around that little event pops up and um a bunch of enemies really hard enemies show up oh my goodness there's that perfect dodge oh my goodness As you can see, I'm not very good at this game quite yet. So as we are over 120 coins right now, um, our our uh, relic there got turned off, right? Because we need 120 or less coins. But then we'll get increased HP, defense, and attack power. So right now... Um, yeah, you can see our attack power is down to 200, but I think we'll be able to see it go up, and our, our HP is way less, too. Our HP is way less. But that's okay, that, that just means that we're going to be uh, able to buy something. And again, it's going to incentivize us to buy stuff. Yeah, we're going to buy this, I think. Uh, heal scope, 1% chance to recover, 1% of max HP when attacking. It seems low, and I personally think it is low, but you can easily buff that up a little bit. And I think that's kind of the point. Because I had one that also, I think I had the, the next level of it, where it also gave me... Where it gave me, uh... That was the wrong button, but I'm okay with that. Oops. And we get a heal. Oh, so that was the Annihilator Tower that just annihilates everything when you're done. When you're done with it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I had 2% uh, on that missile rifle. I had 2% healing. Well, I shouldn't say on the rifle because it was on the relics. But anyways, I think I had leveled it up. So that was an extra, an extra bit of healing. I was getting healing every time I dodged. I used my, my dodge skill there, which was really cool. Um, this game does block you off when... And see, now I can buy two of these things. 
Ooh, we can get the safe coin, but that will that'll incentivize us to not spend money. Which is fine, but that literally goes against what we already have. So I'm not going to do that. I, I wish I would have found that before. Or maybe, well, maybe once we uh, get to the point where we can have a, a good build, this might become part of it. Just stacking up a lot of things and then getting a good... Uh, so we'll buy, we'll buy both of those so we can have... Oh my goodness. See, these are the machines. I sat there and told you that they were, they were tough, but... Uh, well, when you use your ultimate, your ultimate ability. And yeah, we already got that shop. And so now you can see my health went up to over 50,000 there. And we have 230 attack power. And defense, we have 40 and a half. Increase to HP, defense, and attack power. HP. Yeah, I wish it would tell you the percentage of max HP. I really wish they would tell you that. That's okay though. Oh, I know what I, what other one I had on that the missile rifle I had. That might have been from a relic though. Um, I had where every time I dealt damage to an enemy, it would take one percent more damage. Oh come on! Oh really? Oops. Oh my goodness. What? Did our thing not go off? Oh. There we go. I was trying to get the dodge in. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we lost our... And we lost our 15% because we gained more than... So you can see that that can definitely uh, be a factor right in the middle of a fight. You're gaining... You're gaining coins. Uh, I wish I had seven more dollars, to be perfectly honest. Increase crit hit chance by 10%. I had this one too last time for 15 seconds when taking damage. Oh, um, oh, that's nice. But we'll pick up this because that's all we can afford. Generate a shield equivalent to 20% of max HP for 15 seconds. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice actually. Um, another thing this game does that's kind of cool is it tells you when you've cleared the area there's a little blue circle around our guy and it tells you where to go oh my goodness let's just blow everything up there Good dodge. Not good dodge. This game is, is challenging, don't get me wrong. Well that's not very that's not very helpful. like to clean these guys up. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I don't even know if you get get extra points for that. We gotta go find the shop here. This is where I may not buy anything. Right here. This particular spot. Let's just see what they've got for upgrades. We've got $270. We can get some good stuff for that. Oh, that's nice. Um, crit chance, crit damage. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. That was a gamble, because I don't think we'll be able to buy a, a gun on our next our next outing. That's okay. That's okay. So here, here's the shop, and you get a skill upgrade. It's an automatic skill upgrade, which is really nice. Um, increased weapon power by 50% for 10 seconds when used. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's try that one. I picked up the other one last time. And so here you go. Here's, uh, here's a perfect example. It's okay. We got another standard rifle. Oh, we might, we might pick that one up, actually. We'll see what else is on offer here. Because that'll only leave us with 90. This would be nice. Oh, look at this thing. So it's got two tier two perks. And I wonder, I wonder what that means. I wonder if there's tier three perks, that being said. Interesting. Uh, so this one has increased attack power by 20%. That's awesome. Generate a shield equivalent to 5% of max HP for three seconds when a critical hit lands a target. And if you've got a high crit chance, that's insane. You're just going to have a constant shield of 5%. Uh, recovers three rounds of ammo per second. That's great. It keeps you from reloading a little bit longer. 20% max HP increase, which feeds into the shield. That'd be amazing. Uh, this one increased max HP by 300, by 300 when taking damage. Stacks up to 100 times, which gives you 30,000 health. Ignore 20% of the enemy's defense which um, I wish it would give you a comparison of what you're currently using. That's the one thing this game should definitely do. Give you a comparison of what you've got currently equipped for your weapons in this screen. Because if I want to change it, I need to know what I'm swapping out on. Um, this is kind of cool. Not on a, on a shotgun, but 1% chance to inflict 1,000% of attack power as additional damage when attacking. Generate shield equivalent to 25% of max HP for 15 seconds on perfectly timed survival skill. Hard to execute, but powerful effect. Yeah, I really wish. Um, I don't think either of these are going to be good. I think I want to grab that max HP one and ignore 20% of enemy's defense. I think we're going to buy that. 20% defense increase, 20% skill power, and yeah, we lose defense and we lose skill power, but we gain, we gain um, taking, when we take damage, it's going to increase our, our max HP, which is really awesome, up to 30,000. We could end up sitting sitting at uh, 80,000 by the time we're done. And, and what else is it? And it should also tell you your gun, what it does. Um, attack speed, crit chance. Oh yeah, ignore enemy defense, 20%. That's right. So that's awesome. Uh, okay, so that's good. And now we're dealing even more. So this will be our first boss battle. That's my second, but our first. These guys are tough. What? I for sure dodged that. Can't see what's going on. Maybe should not have done that. But we'll find out. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, no. As you can see, our, our health is going up because we are taking damage. We've got 16 times 300 extra health so far.
Oh wow. You really gotta do that one early. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh no, I had no dodges left. Oh god. See, this is where... Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna have to worry about getting up to 80,000 80, health here. See, I used that defensively there. I hit the wrong button, but I, I was trying to stay, stay myself alive without getting hit. <laughs> then ran right into it. That's hilarious. Nice. There we go. There's our there's our boss dead. Just a shade under under half health. So here's where we could Ooh, that might be nice. 10% defense increased. I might pick that up. That could be really handy. Oh, what do we got here? Double shotgun. 20% increased to defense and attack power. Wow. I wish it wasn't the shotgun. Um, increase attack power by two when taking damage. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. We're definitely gonna buy that. And that... That uh, ends that. But we're gonna be increasing our attack power by two every time we take damage? Sure. We take lots of damage. <laughs> We take lots of damage so far. And we will take more. Oh god, yeah, and these guys also summon. See this is this is where things get really crazy. This is where things get really not so. Because uh, all the enemies on screen get the uh, the buff that those guys provided. Really wish we could get a little bit more healing here. Ooh, oh, another rifle. That's cool. What's this one? Oh, a sniper rifle. These, yeah, the sniper rifles are not my not my favorite. They're slow, they're clunky, hard to use in the in the thick of battle. They're kind of tough to use. Okay, can't go that way. I'll just be picking this up. 300% uh, increased skill power for the mines. That might be cool. Um, reduces cooldown by 30%. Yeah, we're going to take that. That's huge. That's huge for us. Oh no. I went the wrong way. What is this? Please tell me it's not a sh Ooh, a homing rifle. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's just try it. 
See what happens. Doesn't seem like it does much damage, but we'll try it. That's a slow ass reload. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Oh, uh. Increase crit chance when HP is 30% or lower. Well, we'll definitely pick up this one. I think we can buy all of them. Yeah, we can. There we go. We'll just buy them all. And we'll see. We can always come back for this. So long as we're not done the, done the world, we can always come back. Oh, I was like, what? I can't go down there. Oh no! Oh my goodness, we got a tier 2 and a tier 3 rifle. A freezer rifle, increased damage by up to 10% the further you are to the target, increased damage. What? That doesn't make sense. And then increase damage by up to 25% the closer you are to the target. <laughs> we could really use some healing here. This is not good. I feel like our... Uh, um... Increase HP. I don't know if I like these homing rifles. I think we were doing better before, to be perfectly honest. That's another homing rifle. Increase HP recovery by 50%. 20%. Increase. I don't know. I don't know. That's not going to help us. We'll pick up that, maybe. 50% status effect duration decrease. So that means on me, I would imagine. Status effect immunity. Yeah, so if I'm on fire or something like that, we would go down 50%. Uh, let's grab that. I really wish we could recover some HP. That's what I had last time. Oh, and our... Uh, what's this... Oops. This could be... This could be interesting. Well, you know what? Let's just try it. We're probably going to die here anyway, so it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, well, there we go. We just died. <laughs> That's okay. So here we get to see kind of the end screen. Yeah, that was definitely not a good... I don't know what this enemy level means. Obviously, it got harder. So, like I was saying before, you have a chance to acquire any of these as we, as we go through. That's kind of cool. Oh, it shows you the level ups. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. We'll go through those real quick. I'd like to see that. So, this... this particular relic only has one level but some of them have multiples i think the purples and the yellows might only have one one level don't quote me on that but here we have one percent chance to recover one percent of max hp when attacking level two is two percent chance to recover one percent level three is three percent chance to recover one percent of max hp when attacking oh one percent chance to inflict 500 percent of attack power 4% chance to recover, 1% of max HP when attacking, 2% chance to inflict. Oh yeah, see, you can see these could get crazy, right? 5% chance to recover, 1% of max HP when attacking, 3% chance to inflict 500% attack power. You can see how like getting a couple of those relics together could be pretty crazy. 125%, I won't read all of them, but 125% Crit damage increase, 15% crit hit increase, crit hit chance increase on the level 5. 
Level five is 100% on the inner suit is 100% max HP increase and 15% skill cooldown decrease. That's awesome. Uh, this is the shield one. Increase attack power. That was nice. Vampire module. Yeah, see, some of these still only have one level. Some are levelable where you can level them up and some are not. Uh, defense suit, 100%. Defense increase, 30% attack power increase for 5 seconds on taking damage. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. I hope that that means I just get 100% defense and I get 30% attack power increase for 5 seconds. Not, I get all of that for 5 seconds because then you lose the increased defense. I hope it's not... You lose the increased defense. Interesting. We'd have to see. So it doesn't look like I got any of those, but here's the skill upgrades we got. So we only got three. Didn't get anything too, too crazy. Um, obviously, the the longer you can go on and the more of these things you can acquire, the better, the better off it is. Uh, we got a couple of points, which we ended up getting a, uh, a vault point. That's cool. So that gives us our next. That gives us our next uh, skill tree ability, and we didn't get any of those relics, which is kind of a bummer. Are you ready for battle? But that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So we'll go over to the upgrades. Um, I'm gonna put another one into health. Yeah, put another one into health, and I'm going to pause the recording for just a half second here all right sorry for that weird cut uh hopefully the sound doesn't cut out for too too long again i really wish the uh the game music would continue playing when you uh head out of the window oops that's not what i want to do um should we try one of the other breakers oh hang on a second Oh, that's what that bonus thing means. Okay, so I was on my previous... Oh my god, it's got an Inquisitor symbol for his belt buckle. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, on my previous go-through, I think this guy had the bonus symbol. So I guess we're going to do another jungler, but that's okay. We're going to try in group play, and we're going to see how well that does. Apparently, this game is supposed to be played in group, group combat. Um... I'm really hoping we can get another 400 of the blue coins or whatever whatever they're called so that we can uh, uh, change our breaker here. I am going to move the camera back up to the top here because I realized that uh, you can't actually you can't actually see what my coin count was that was in the bottom left hand corner. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna stick with the the jungler. It's kind of a silly name, though. Uh, we're going to stick with the jungler. We are going to try look for party members. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. We'll try. We won't We won't wait too, too long. You know, maybe a couple of minutes or whatever. Uh, yeah, please, you'll have to let me know, well, number one, what you think of the video. I'm going to have to put this up a little bit higher, too. Number one, what you think of the video. Number two, what you think of the new camera? Oh, there we go. We got a match. Uh, what you think of the, the new camera? This this is the new one. I took my old one apart. What you think of the new mic? Uh, I still got to get it up on a, on a boom stand, but I think I actually own one currently. Whoa. Oh, that's... <laughs> That's funny. So that was uh, one of our other one of our other party members there. She's got this. Uh, nice.
Yeah, look at that. Uh, she's got this big kind of dragon looking looking jammy. Nice. Oh, that's for her. So she just got a an upgraded skill. And I think. Um Yeah, let's grab the dash again. Having a fourth dash is really, really handy. This way. This way. Oops. And we get a little robot helper. There we go, I finally dodged it. Oh no. Oh, I thought she was... I thought we got disconnected. Okay, that's the end of that one. Nothing over here. Do we not get a shop in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, so they do... Really? Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. I don't like that, where you have to fight for... Where you have to fight for these. I don't like that. Because that... Our whole build is about getting... Our whole build is all about... Uh, is about spending money here. And she just bought out the... The whole thing. So that means I'm gonna go for it this time. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And yeah, see? See, and now she can't buy any. And I don't, I don't like that. That's stupid. That's a stupid system. They should change that. Because see, she can't buy any. Just because I have to spend my money. And she probably needed one of these. So. It should be individual, individual loot, 100%. Or individual uh, buying things, 100% it should be. Yeah, we, you should definitely not be sharing. Definitely not be sharing the, uh, the store. That does not encourage cooperation at all. Yeah, and see? See, and that just screwed us again. Yeah, I, I don't like that at all. In fact, that makes me not want to play this game. <laughs> that one thing alone. I hope the developers hear this feedback and, and get rid of that. That's stupid. That's not fun. That does not encourage cooperative playthroughs. And that's only with two people. Imagine you had three or four people. How, how are you going to do all this? What, only one person is only going to buy one thing? Well, that's not going to help. You're, gonna, you're supposed to be trying to do a build and all that. This absolutely has to be individual. That's crazy talk. Yeah, and see, then it's just a fight to get there first. Just so I can spend my money. And that's not, that's not fun, because then you, you have to make split-second decisions. You have to make split-second decisions. And, uh, you might be screwing over the other player. That should all absolutely be individual. There's so many negatives that come with having it as part of the... And this should be an individual store, which it's probably not going to be. 
Um, yeah. Oh, see, we can't even buy that now. That sucks. Lancer rifle, homing rifle. This is nice. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the I'll show you the Lancer rifle. Can we pick this up? We can't even pick that up. At least this is. Um. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that dash, for sure, for sure. Yeah, the stores and those have to be individual. Oh no. Oh no. See there, I'm on fire. And now we don't have to reload anymore. Oh no. Oh no, she died. Oh, maybe not. God, we're taking some serious damage here. I do like that though. I'm definitely going to uh, use that more often. Oh no! Nice. What's this one? Oh, I can't use that. We can only buy one of these. Um, yep. There we go. Oh, and there's another one over here. It's okay, I can't buy any of these. I think I made the right call, <laughs> considering there's... There you go. There you go. Yeah, see my build I get, uh, I get perks based off of, we gotta start playing as a team too, but I get perks based off of, uh, yeah, I get perks based off of, uh, uh, what was I gonna say here? Oh, based off of having less coins, oh god. And we get healing from that, which is nice. I gotta start using that a little bit more often. Um, recover 5%, yeah. Ooh, that could be nice though, too. Increase weapon power by 550%, yeah. Because we're using that all the time. So it increase it refills our magazine. It increases our our attack power and Whoops, wrong button. Uh, Inferno shotgun, those things are not fun to use. Yeah, so we get 50% attack increase, 50% or refills our ammo. Yes. Yes.
Oh, we get multiple respawns. Interesting. Where are we going here? Down this way. <clears throat> yeah, refills our ammo, increases our attack speed, increases our attack. Um, increases our attack speed, our rate of fire, our attack power, refills our ammo. There's almost nothing bad about this. Um, yeah, we need that. We absolutely need some health, some healing. I'll let her have the other ones. What is this? Double shotgun. I really wish I could show you guys the missile rifle. Because that thing was awesome. I was having such a blast with that. Oh, we gotta heal somehow. Oh no! Get out of there! Oh, there's another heal. There's another heal somehow. Nice. That was dope. I know she got anything. Um, no. Two turret greaves. I can't pick that up, whatever that is. Homing rifle, 10% additional damage to bosses. Meh. What's this? Uh, yes. Leave her the other one. Whoa, just kidding. Sorry. Nice. Yep. Sure. Oh, I probably shouldn't have bought. <laughs> probably shouldn't have bought things. Oh, well, we've got a, a decent build going on. See, this is what happens. Because I'm so worried about that, I wasn't even paying attention. I won't make that mistake again. I was so worried about getting rid of our money and being able to buy the thing that I wanted that... Ended up potentially screwing it up for us. So. At least the stores are individual. That's kind of cool. Mm. I'm glad we didn't get anything. Anything crazy. Uh, burning effect increased by two times. Yes. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna grab that one too. Because that's just more increased attack speed. Nah, here we go. Let's see if we can get through the boss battle. See, that's what I'm talking about. This guy's not too, too bad. Oh, we've taken a huge scuffing, though. This is a wicked ass boss here. Oh no. I died. Yeah, come respawn me, please. Quickly. Quickly, quickly now. Come on. Yeah, see, that's all enemies. Oh. Oh, no. Aww. That sucks. That was entirely my fault. That was 100% my fault. Aww. Wah, wah. That was entirely my fault. We still didn't collect any relics. At least we got a couple more couple more couple more dollars here so we can potentially buy that uh, oh here we go 10% additional damage to bosses cool so we got one relic out of that not an overly handy one but not bad okay so I will go in here and yeah we can for sure buy this guy liner uh, yeah, the missile, sorry, my camera's right in the way here. Uh, yeah, the missile guy. We're gonna unlock him, and we're absolutely gonna use liner. Uh, d -d 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 where are we here? Oh, okay, and then, I think, yeah, here we go, relics. So I can turn on one of these relics. I am gonna put on risk coin. We're gonna try it solo. I know this will be a kind of a long video, but we're going to try it solo. I won't be talking as much during the next one here. I just want to see how far we can get. Yeah, this is a, a sweet. See, look at this thing. It goes crazy. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and he's got that. Same type of, same type of thing. Well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yo, that's nice. My goodness, look at that. So for 10 seconds, it looks like. Yo, that was awesome. Okay, we have no more points here. That's okay. That sucks, that was entirely my fault. I, uh, I got too overzealous in trying to resurrect our, our companion. I wonder if we can get that crazy reload. reload. 
Oh yeah, the missile volley. That was cool. Yeah, see the cool thing about these missiles is that they uh, they knock enemies back. Yeah, they knock enemies back. So that's one of the really fun things about it. And then it fires off extra missiles every once in a while. Uh, missile launcher upgrade. Fires an additional slower but larger missile. Oh, yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. I wasn't paying attention. That's our dash upgrade again. That's absolutely going to be that's absolutely going in there. Yeah, the these missile launchers take a while to uh Oh, come on. I think I'm going to have a really fun time with this guy. Not going to lie to you. Just because of that explosion. So let's buy something here. Uh, max HP by 50%. Yeah. Let's go with that. That's handy. It would be nice if I could see a way to get more coins per kill. Stuff like that, where you can... You can pick up even like on a weapon or whatever. This this weapon earns. Oops. Oh my God! Come on. What is happening here? It's getting knocked around. Um, yeah, sorry, what I was going to say is it would be cool if you could get a, uh, like a weapon upgrade, one of those perks or whatever on the weapons that says, like, every kill you make with this gets you, you know, an extra coin or something. That could be interesting. Increase attack speed by 30%. That would have been nice. Um, the start of every stage. Let's pick that one up because we're early on here. And what does that get us? Sorry. Just want to double check. 5% attack power increase. So attack power increase is 230. I just want to keep our eye on that. I don't know what that exactly means, but it's the start of every stage. Oh, crasher. I thought, I thought it said crazer shotgun. It says Crasher. Nice. That was sick, yo. Oh, and that's the way we have to go. Yeah, that was that was sick. What's the Crasher shotgun? Oops. Oh god, that's awful. Missile rifle for sure. Even though it has nothing on it. Um, increase movement speed. Ignore 20% of enemy's defense. Absolutely. Come on, missile rifle. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this thing. So it generates a shield equivalent to 10% of max HP every 30 seconds. That's an automatic win. Plus, we have no perks on our missile rifle right now. 15% increase to HP, defense, and attack power. So that's going to double our 
That's going to be crazy. Increase attack power by 15% for 5 seconds when weapon is not in use for 3 seconds. Um, interesting. I don't know if that's going to happen all the time. And increase damage the further you are from the target. This is hilarious. This is exactly what we wanted, is a, is a missile rifle. These things are sick, absolutely sick. Um, 25% crit damage increase. I think we might pick up uh, 213. Yeah, we're gonna pick up the max HP increase because that's gonna get us a bigger shield. I wonder if there's a way to decrease the cooldown for your sprint. Nice. Alright. That was okay. Oh no. healing. We got a bit of a scuffing there. Double shotgun, no thank you. And uh, we might just keep all our all our gold here depending on um no we'll pick that one up for sure. I know I said we might keep it, but there was no point in keeping that, or not keeping that one. There we go. And then we can buy something in the, the next the next shop. We're unlikely to find a, an upgrade for this missile rifle. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. We are very unlikely to find an upgrade. I'll be happy if we do, though. Here's another missile rifle. Increase crit chance by 15% and then generates the shield. It's basically the same thing we have. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab that for sure. 1% of HP every 5 seconds. Constant healing. Don't need any of that. And we're not going to grab that. Um, missile launcher. Which one's the missile launcher? The right trigger. Um, damage and duration. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Reduces cooldown by 30%. One thing that I did notice. Oh, uh, I can't show you. Uh, one thing I did notice in that screen. It does say something about increasing your, your enhancing your suit's abilities, but with some slight side effects. It said something to that effect. Um, I don't know what that means. Skill upgrades. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Obviously, it, it means that you're gonna have, uh, you know, some type of buff or or nerf depending on what the thing is. That's what I'm assuming it means by some side effects, right? Where like, oh, you pick up this one and it's, you know. On each skill pickup, there's a 10% chance to proc something, and it decreases your movement speed by 10%, or increases your crit chance by 10%, or ignore enemy defense by 5%, or something something to that effect, anyways. That's what I'm assuming that means, but I don't actually know. Centipede Queen, nasty.
Whoa, just kidding. Oh, I was gonna say I don't like it. And I don't, definitely don't like it. The farther we are from her, the better off we are. Nice. And that was with less uh, HP and uh, yeah, less HP. Oh, there's a shop up there. What's in here? Speed magazine. Yes. Let's grab that. I think that was the right move. Oh my goodness, look at that. I think that was the right move. Hopefully there's nothing crazy in here. I would have picked that up as well. 20% defense increase. Yeah, I would have picked up the defense increase for 10 seconds on taking damage. There's our shield. Uh, I'm sitting here waiting because we regain health based on... Based on uh, every five seconds. So there's no point in rushing our way through it. That's insanely fast. How fast that procs up to. That's crazy. 243. Um, increased missile power, yeah. Let's, um, no, we've got shielding right now. I don't think we need to do that. Oh, the teleporter. And see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's hilarious. I almost need to proc. I wonder if proccing that uh, striker shotgun. Ooh, what's this? Inferno shotgun. No bueno. Let's open that up. Uh, yep. We do have 360. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Um, 10%. We could probably grab that. Well, yeah, let's let's do it because we need to uh, have our have our coins low, so we might as well. And it does exactly what I was wanting it to do earlier, which is decrease the cooldown. I don't think that, uh... Yeah, I don't think increasing my speed helps that missile barrage at all. Mm hmm. I mean, I think we're okay for HP. What do we got for healing? Um...
We're up to 250 attack power. I missed kind of what happened. We were at 230 before. <laughs> ah, recover 1% of HP every 5 seconds. That's what it is. That's what's keeping us alive there. So let's see. 1% of HP every 5 seconds. That'll be 1.5% HP every 5 seconds. Or it can do this as well, the heal scope. I wonder, I think that might be... That might be the right move. If we find that extra healing again later, we'll definitely grab that. Yeah, I don't think increasing our speed helps with that particular aspect at all. Um, one additional dash and teleport use 30% max guard duration increase. I don't know what that means. 40% um, max. Oh, these are both the same. Inner suit, inner suit. Um, yeah, let's go whole hog on this inner suit. It's too bad I didn't have another 100 or another 60 gold because I would like to see what some of those uh, Warning. Warning. Yeah, I would like to see what uh, some of those level threes and three fours and five upgrades look like i don't know what this what's that what's that skill uh electro trap lay electric traps in front that can hold down enemies in place oh, okay that's what that is i don't know if i particularly like that are we going the right way we're supposed to go this way i don't know if i particularly like that Getting lots of status effects, though. We got lots of health. Oh, we didn't get one more gold coin, really? Okay, so now I have a decision to make. Because we can't buy... Oh, I wouldn't have been able to anyways. Um, High-powered round. Okay, interesting. 60% weapon power increase. 20% recovery amount increase. I don't know what that means. Increase crit hit chance by 25% for 5 seconds if no damage is taken. That's really nice too. Um... My decision that I was going to have to make here, and I am going to have to make a tough one, is do I pick up this? Do I pick up this inner suit? 60% max HP increase and 5% skill cooldown decrease. Do I pick that up or do I pick up the... Do I pick up... Increase crit chance by 25% for 5 seconds if no damage is taken in 5 seconds. I think I pick this one up. I'd like to see what this means, but I think this is the good... I think this is the good move. I might be wrong. Oh no, our guy's dead. That's why I love this <laughs> missile rifle. This missile rifle. Look at that. And it was just 
exploding the enemies back. That's insane. And now I think we'll hang on to our coins because we'll be going into a new area. I'll just try and get all of our coins depending on what's in that store. We've got 250 here. 260 maybe. 259. Let's see what's in here. Um, that's really nice too, the penetrator round. Reduced skill cooldowns by 15%. Let's pick up, let's pick up that one, uh, because that still leaves us 139 uh, gold. I'm just gonna call it gold from now on. I don't care. It leaves us 139 gold to buy something at the store. We don't need an upgrade to our weapon. That's max level. Um, that sucks, but that's okay. That just leaves us more more gold for our next missile rifle. Increase attack power by two when taking damage. 20% skill power increase, 20% weapon power increase. That's nice. I, I don't think that's gonna be better than what we have. Yeah, I really wish it would show you your weapon. Oh, here we go. Um, 150%. Yeah, and see, we just got another 10 attack power. So that must be, so I'm not entirely sure because our 5% Okay, that would make sense. Yeah, 5% of 20 It must have started at 200 attack power because 5% of 200 would be 10 Because 10% would be 20 so that makes sense why it goes up by 10, but we're we're sitting pretty okay 30% attack speed 35% crit damage or crit chance, 175 crit damage. We'll bump that up if we can. 30% <clears throat> defense. 10% survival. 40% ignore targets defense. Yeah. I think we're doing okay there. Um, Reduces cooldown by 30%. Increase crit chance by 100% for 10 seconds. Cooldown reset on 100% weapon power increase for 15 seconds on perfect dodge. Let's do that. And that's nice too, we just reload. This is insane. <laughs> Another shotgun. And that's with way less, oh, look at this. We got a lance, lance rifle, I think is what it's called. Yeah, lance rifle. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll use it here. This will be the end of our expedition. Another homing rifle? Oh, okay. No, that's a double shotgun. Oh my god, look at that 16,000 I saw. <laughs> Sniper rifle. I'm gonna leave this one alive so I can show you guys this thing, Lancer rifle. These things are cool. Oh no, we used that last time. Crash, crash or shotgun. We used that last time. I showed you that already. 25% crit damage increase, survival, skill dash. Oh, okay, so 20%. I'm just gonna check these before because nothing's happening. And I guess we're gonna. Ooh, that's nice. You know what? Instead of going whole hog on that one, let's check the other. Oh my goodness, there's three. 
Critical Defender. Increased crit hit chance by 10% for 15 seconds. Um, we might take that. That could be good. What else is in here? 20% defense increase. I don't want that though. I think we're going to take... Yeah, we'll take that one. And... What was over here? I'm only not killing this thing so that I can... 20% uh, defense increase. But I think we'll grab... Oh, we can't grab that one now. Because that would have been nice too if we could have done that. We can for sure pick up that. Let's pick that one up. And then we'll finish this guy off. There we go. And we are doing insanely well. This is a much... See, this is what I told, I told you. As soon as we get that homing or that missile rifle, this thing's awesome. Oh, that's going to have bit me in the butt, isn't it? Charging Defender. Eh, that's fine. Oh, and we got another... Holy crap, look at our attack power. <laughs> 330. Look at our attack power. Reduce cooldown by one second on hit. Okay, so here we go. So up at the top of the screen. This device will optimize your suit's abilities, albeit sometimes with very minor side effects. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, that could be fun. Immediately refill magazine. We don't really need that. Generate shield equivalent to 5% of max HP for 15 seconds. We don't really need that. But it could be nice. Reduces cooldown by another 30%. Um, missile launcher. Reduce cooldown by one second on hit. Let's yeah. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna see if. I'm gonna see if it. Uh, apparently, this guy sucks. Um. Oh, maybe he's not the one I was thinking about. No, he's not. It's not Sonic. It's just a big scorpion-looking dude. Um, the missile barrage thing. I want to see if it reduces the cooldown. By one percent on. Its hit or mine. Oh God. Oh, I didn't realize he was sucking everything in. Okay, now I get it. Oh no. <laughs> this missile rifle is insane. It's, it's so insane. Oh no. Oh God. Oh God, I'm shocked. Oh my goodness. All right, now we're now we got some problems here. We need some serious health here. Oh no, that's okay. Oh no. Oh, oh, okay, good. Oh no. Oh no.
That's brutal. Oh no. Oh god, get out of there. Oh no. That's good that we can just get the hell out of there. And apparently let's let's not dodge that. What is this? Oh no. That was it. Yeah, these bosses get nasty. But hey, at least we unlocked of all of that at least we unlocked well we made it to the fifth biome that's awesome and at least we unlocked the uh, guy with the homing rifle <laughs> we had a good build going I'd... we had a good build going nice there we go we got another point and some more monies so I think we're at two two hundred 20% weapon power increase. Yeah, we'll definitely just take that. We will take 20% right off the bat. That's awesome. There we go. So we'll just go over to here. Instead of that risk coin, we'll, uh, we'll throw this guy. We'll unequip that. We'll put that on. It would have been nice to have cleared um, that first that first one. Oh, we get a bonus with this guy, so I might uh, just do another run online here, but not record a not record a video here. I think we will uh, we'll go over and do the upgrade real quick because we've got that. Yeah, we need weapon power five there, so let's put a couple points in. No, you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's take us to an even forty thousand on this guy yeah we'll take we'll go to an even 40,000 and then from there we can uh, we can start working on weapon weapon increase here and where am I at so another couple of levels and I'll have three more points so that'll give us another three percent and then I think what I'm gonna do is go crit I'm gonna go the crit way I'm gonna put five points in there five points in there five points in here and then I might even try and get into this because that could be that could be really fun one attack power increase for every kill stacks up to a hundred that could be really fun because that'll for sure stack up before the end of the before the end of the mission um, but I can now I don't yeah and see I don't want to do that I'd like to get some of this regeneration but um, we'll see how the the points all work out I think I want to go this way though. Weapon power, crit damage, crit chance with this guy. I think that's the way I want to go. But uh, I will call it there. Uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. This is kind of a bonus episode. Um, I really enjoy the game. I think there's a couple things that need to be changed. Num number one for me is not be battling for those upgrades. That kind of sucks because then you're either you're either racing for them or you're going to be fighting somebody who might need the same thing that you do and there's only one or there's like or they buy two like I bought the three and the one thing just to take us down below the threshold but then that hurts our teammate right that's not I don't think that's very good I would prefer I I think I would honestly prefer that if there was multiple people you have individual shops but it gets dropped down to two selections or something I don't know I, I would prefer a, just a different system for that. If you're solo, it's fine. It makes sense. But for multi people, I think you need to have or or everybody can buy them. Right. That's the, you still get three, but everybody can everybody could buy whatever's there. There's three copies of everything. Right. Something to that effect. I would I would like that where that's the role that everybody gets. But each each player could buy one of each of those things. You know what I'm saying? If I'm explaining it correctly, um, I 
am really enjoying this gun. This thing is insane. We had a wicked build last time. I was really bummed out that we didn't get to complete it there. Those bosses get hard. That was that was really tough <laughs> at the end there. That was really tough. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today for uh, Anvil Vault Breakers, I think is what it's called. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I will catch you next time. Peace out, YouTube.